can't come in here. Not allowed in here. I just want to talk to the boy. Not allowed. It's not allowed. He won't talk to you anyway. Gran don't like you. And and Johnny's made up. And, and strangers steal kids. Just tell me where I can find Johnny. Johnny's made up. Be gone. Be gone. Why don't you want to talk about Johnny? One of you knows about him. The others must too. It's just him who's pals with Johnny. They pick mushrooms and hunt snails. But Gran says Johnny's made up. Have any of you ever seen Johnny? Of course. Looks just like him. Then why do you say he's made up? Gran says so. And Gran knows lots. Does your Gran treat you right? She ever hurt you? Never. When we're bad, she cries. She's scared. Say strangers might take us, and we'll disappear. The boy who plays with Johnny, he must be brave. Not brave, just stupid. Sat his bare bum on an anthill once. But yeah, he plays with Johnny. He don't listen to Gran and goes in the woods, and then he's got to have a time out. And he eats snails, yuck. The girl I mentioned is in danger. You gotta help me get your gran away from the hut so I can talk to Johnny's friend. All right, but you gotta do something for us too. Play hide and seek. Gran never does. Says her feet hurt. Let's play. You hide, but if I find you, you have to help me talk to the boy who knows Johnny. He thinks he'll find us easy. Means he's never hid from the black one. No looking, and you have to count out loud. All your fingers, toes, too. One, two, three, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Ready or not, here I come. There you are. I found you. You can stop hiding. No fair. I'm supposed to win.
found you. You're the last one. Bet you cheated. Come to the cottage. I gotta tell the others I won. Found you all. Now you gotta keep your word and help me talk to Johnny's friend. Why wouldn't we? Promised, didn't we? Gran! Gran! Bumblebee bit Yagna in the arse! Gran! Come! Don't be afraid. Don't know nothing. I won't hurt you. Where's Gran? She's busy. Why are you scared to talk? I'm not scared of nothing. You're all scared of something. Would have told me about Johnny otherwise. I'm worried about Johnny. He don't come round no more. Once, when we was mushroom picking, I saw his burrow. But Gran yelled at me, said not to talk to strangers, cause then kids go missing. She worries about Johnny too, though she says he's made up. Where are you and your friend's parents? Dad, some starved, others were killed, like mine. One day, I went out at dawn to look for berries in the woods. Still some around back then. When I was coming home, I heard the yells. Then, laughing, went up and hid in the bushes near the woods. My mum yelled, and the soldiers laughed. Leave my pa down by the bird door. Is it clean off? And then my mum. It's all right. That's enough. I just want to talk to Johnny. He could know more than you. Not gonna hurt him, right? Cause he's real. He's not made up. I'm not gonna hurt him. Johnny used to be boy, cause Gran liked listening to his songs. When we was picking mushrooms, Johnny said he saw a girl with ashen hair in the swamp. Where can I find Johnny? There's a little meadow on the edge of the swamp. This strange tree grows there. Look around. You'll see him. Thank you. Small footprint. Johnny's been through here.
lead to a burrow. Wonder what's inside. Johnny? Don't be afraid. You're a bucka? A Luton? Ah, a godling. Not many of you left. I'm looking for a woman with ashen hair. Seen her? Tell me everything from the start. Where did you see her? What was she doing? It's important to me. Why not? This where you live? Cozy Burrow. Good location. Must know about everything that happens in the bog. Doesn't bother you having monsters for neighbors? Kids from the clearing well? Don't be afraid, not gonna hurt anyone. What's wrong? Can't talk? Why? Lost your voice? Can I help you somehow? I can't understand you. Try to explain it somehow. Want me to follow you? No choice, I guess. Stay close to me. Is this the place? Let me look around. Something's on the ledge? Something that'll get you your voice back? Guess I gotta make this climb.
came in this bottle. A pack of pickle peppers by the pontar. <laughs> Done celebrating? My favorite words! Life without savoring the sound of surreptitious shenanigans is like licking snails through a cloth. Thank you for this, noble whoever you are. Long be your life! Hang on a minute. I helped you, now you help me. Would you turn this beautiful act of altruism into a banal bartering of favors? How'd you lose your voice? One morning I awoke and opened my mouth for my usual bout of singing with the thrushes. Lo and behold, no sound escaped. I tried and tried, almost burst a blood vessel. Then I went to the village, cause word has it the new cunning woman works miracles. But people began crying out, a smudger, a smudger, and sick their dogs on me. Do I look like a smudger to you? Not a bit. Thought not. So it must be the crones doing. Who else would curse me? Blackbird friend of mine located my voice, but I was helpless to retrieve it. Couldn't ask a raven friend to just give you the bottle? Ravens serve the crones. They don't help no one. How do you lock someone's voice in a bottle? Just wondering. As am I, especially as mine's a voice to crown all voices. Sometimes it's like a forest brook, at others like a roll of thunder. And let's be honest, I talk enough to fill three barrels or more. Somebody used some powerful magic on you, as a prank or just to be mean. I'm looking for a young, ashen-haired woman. See anyone like that? Did I ever? Remember it as if it were yesterday. Soon as I woke, I went to empty my bowels. My favorite part of the day. Defecating to the sunrise, downright glorious. Suddenly, heard a bang, so loud it couldn't have been me. And that lass appeared, out of nowhere. Young, ashen-haired, just like you said. Wounded and panting to boot. She raced off towards the children's huts, quick as if the crones were after her. I yelled some unpleasantries. She disturbed my morn. Sadly, I'd lost my voice so I don't think she heard me. What do you know about the crones? They're as old as this forest. Cruel, vindictive, not to be crossed. What if someone does cross them? Might take his voice, might take his life. Depends on their whim. They're nasty, although they care for this land and its folk in their own way. Supposedly, they always keep their word, but you must be careful what you ask for. Won't find them until they want to be found. See them until they want to be seen. But remember, they see and hear all that happens in the mire. I've been to the village in the swamp, met a woman who might have been a crone. Did she seem confused to you? Nuts, completely. Oof, so I'm not crazy. That's no crone. That's the granny who takes care of the orphans. Claims the kids made me up. Me! An orphanage in a swamp? What do you have against swamps? Lived here my whole life, and I heartily recommend it. She ran off toward the orphanage. Kids could know something, or the old woman who takes care of them. Oh, that old hag don't speak to strangers, and you're a stranger. Will she talk to you? I have spoken to her, got my ways. So be it. You helped me, and I'm no bore. Come with me. The 33 thieves thought they drove the throne throughout Thursday. <laughs> the 33 thieves thought they drove the throne throughout Thursday. <laughs> the 33 thieves thought they drove the throne throughout Thursday. <laughs> the 33 thieves thought they drove the throne throughout Thursday. <laughs> the 33 thieves thought they drove the throne throughout Thursday. <laughs> Damn it. 
Thursday. Ha! The 33 thieves thought they drove the throne throughout Thursday. Ha! The 33 thieves thought they drove the throne throughout Thursday. Ha! The 33 thieves thought they drove the throne throughout Thursday. Ha! The 33 thieves thought they drove the throne throughout Thursday. Ha! The 33 thieves thought they drove the throne throughout Thursday. The 33 thieves thought they drove the throne throughout Thursday. Ha! The 33 thieves thought they... Good. It's clear. Not a crone in sight. I need to sing to Gran. That ought to calm her. Little Johnny softly gazed, fire waning pale. Pop! A spark jumped out and whispered, Listen, I tell. You, I got your voice back. I did, though I seem to have lost an octave somewhere in the process. I shall look for it when I get home. You're not allowed here, Johnny. You shouldn't have come. Calm down, Gran. Don't get angry. It's not good for you. Can you take me to the crowns? Forgive me, Gran, but this fellow absolutely must talk to the ladies. No, she's not allowed. Please, it's important. The fellow will be quiet. Gran, please hear me out. I found little Yagna when she got lost, did I not? Did I break Ginny's fever too? I did. I ask anything in return? No. Didn't even fuss about my stolen voice. Well, now I want something. Gran, help this fellow. Because otherwise he'll pester me day and night, even during potty time. His lass is missing. Perhaps the ladies can help find her, eh? Well, since you put it that way, Johnny, I'll help him. Come with me. Johnny's a good, good lad, though the ladies don't like him. No, foul creature, they say. Don't like him. Who are the women in the tapestry? Those are the ladies. Ladies lovely, with power o'er all, beseech I thee. Answer my call. Before you a worm crawls, wretched and small. How dare you disturb our rest, woman? Someone speaking through you? Good looking and clever too. Where have you been hiding, boy? So you're the three crowns? Crowns? Where'd you get such an ugly word, young man? Village bitches have been gossiping again. There's no limit to how jealous and petty humans can be. Do we look like crones to you? Go ahead, check. Touch me, white-haired one, where it pleases you most. Is it my imagination or is this tapestry made of hair? What a sensitive touch. Touch me more, boy. Touch me more. Where do you get human hair? Never heard of the cutting. Round here, a young boy turns into a man when they cut his hair for the first time. Our sister weaves tapestries of this cut hair. If the weft is straight, 
Happy the fate. What if the weft's crooked? Then it must be unraveled. Is this a curse? You trapped in the tapestry? Oh, he's curious. We don't fall victim to curses. We cast them. <laughs> I'm looking for the woman with ashen hair. I know you met her. Where is she? Oh, he's impatient. Perhaps he only likes ashen-haired girls. The young woman. She's my daughter by choice. I raised her. <laughs> if she's shapely, what does it matter? <laughs> Matters to me. I believe we've hit a nerve. He's bubbling like well-fed yeast. Oh, that's how I like him. It's clear you met her. Tell me everything. That was blunt. Well, perhaps it's for the best. Tell me, have you got bollocks? Do you fear woodland beasts? Oh, hard times are upon this white-haired one. Brother has turned against brother. The land is soaked in blood. Evil reigns stronger than ever before. A dark power has surfaced near Down Warren. It feeds on hatred and disdain. Destroy the beast, and we may be grateful. Tell you all we know about this ashen haired maid. Dark power? You need a knight errant, or a witch hunter, not a witcher. The alderman of Down Warren will tell you all. Remember to collect payment from him after you complete your task. And now our servant will bring you the dagger. A dagger? What for? When the alderman sees this dagger, he'll know we sent you. He'll aid with all. I'll talk to the Alderman, but I can't promise anything. Move, woman! Give the young man the dagger. And you, white one, return only once you've completed the task. Oh, you mistress, right. On me way. Dagger. Gotta bring the dagger. you. Lady told me to give it to you. Here it is. The dagger. Place the alderman's payment on the stone. Stone bear. Stone shear. Stone nose. Stone ears. Lee. Flee. Freshly curdled milk. Eggs straight from the coop. Nary a trace of shit on them. Show me what you sell.
Don't know that I'm gonna buy anything, but I sure wouldn't mind a few rounds of Gwent. Nice village. Aye, a real pearl of the swamps. If you say so. You get by all right? Aye, winter to winter. Somehow we survive. Recognize this dagger? Aye, master. I didn't know you belonged to them. So you know who sent me? Good. Easier that way. Forgive me. I didn't know you came from the ladies of the wood. They help you often? From the time of his cutting, every man is theirs. They be harsh mistresses, but they're fair. Just. Demanding they can be, but then nothing in life comes easy. Who drove off the plaguey heirs? Who gave us seeds to plant? Round the other villages, they be eating the soles of their boots, whereas we, well, we get along well enough. Hear about an ashen-haired woman meeting the ladies of the wood? Well, I ain't heard nothing about that. Beg your questions to the ladies and they may answer. They knows all that happens in Velen. They got informers? The woods listen for them. A lone word at an ill hour can arouse their wrath, but they hear pleas and prayers as well. Once a swineherd lost a sow, sat and cried at the crossroads. The sow ran out of the trees as if chased by a devil, straight to the swineherd. Ever meet the ladies of the wood? Never. They only shows themselves to the chosen. Perchance one day, I too will be summoned. I'm supposed to help solve your problem. Tell me what it is. Just the essentials. The war awoke an ancient power. An evil one that feeds on bloodshed. Nightmares haunt our nights and days. Folks sleepwalk from their homes, never to return. Under the tree on the Whispering Hillock they lie. Unburied all fathers, sons, daughters, and mothers. Folk are afeard to move them. You must go there. The dark powers must be cast off. Need more details? You must see for yourself. Me grand's mum whacked me crosswise for straying near the Whispering Hillock. But what happens there now is a wonder. A few times folk from round here gathered to chop down the trees and burn the cursed soil back to use. None returned. The ground neath the weeds is white with human bones. When did all this start? Three year back. I remember, twas a warm day, went to check the snares for game. Pulled a hair from me trap. It grew dark all of a sudden, though it was nigh on noontime. Thought it was a storm at first. A squeal pierced the air, near burst me ears. The hair rotted in me hands, and the leaves shriveled and yellowed, though it were yet the start of summer. Times have been ill ever since. Folks teeth turn black as charcoal. Women folk fight like polecats, bawling and brawling over nothing. The young'uns, born crippled, lame, fear and cursing. Long have we pled for the lady's help. 
Ladies of the Wood don't know what this power is. They know all. Old Thakla claimed they'd be punishing us. Folks stop respecting them. Some even call them witches. But must not be they, for they sent you. I'll look around the Whispering Hillock. You be careful, Master Witcher. Don't ye treat this evil light. I won't be as cocky once the Baron's men whip your arse. Let's go! Are you?
imprisoned. How so? I am bound here in fetters of magic. I am wounded and nameless. I love that of me. The children. I know all. I know what awaits them. Free me, please. I must tell them. If something threatens the orphans, I'll help them myself. The children have been taken. Free me, please. I come the gale. A gallop unchained. I shall see them. Only I can. Solved your problem. Just in case, though, avoid the Whispering Hillock for a while. Cannot be. Where's something lurking there? An evil spirit had possessed a tree on the hill. It was responsible for the killings. How'd ye dispel this evil? Went up the hill, took care of the problem. The details are my concern. I truly said, I knows naught of such things anyway. The crones, or the ladies of the wood as you call them, said to remind you about payment. Take it you know what they want? Aye, I do. Give me the dagger. Be back soon. There's payment. Take it to the ladies, will you? What the hell was that? Tis our pact. Uh, you're a stranger. You don't know life here. It's honest pay for their protection. So, all those ears in the woods... Put it out your mind, master. You soon be leaving and we must tarry on. Our young'uns and their young'uns after them. No gods nor masters watch over Velen. 
The land is no man's. He who wants to survive must seek his own protectors. Never seek to cross us again. We shall forgive you this transgression for you've done well. Your children are plump as piglets, sweet as caramel. But now we must talk to our white-haired friend. The woman who cares for the kids. She's a debt to pay. She is here by choice. She's insane. She knew what our pact entailed when she made it. We helped her. She promised to serve. Now she bears our mark. Belongs to us. Come. It is another woman who interests you. Speak, white-haired one. You used me to tame the Whispering Hillock. A lot of work. Not free, brave soul. Did you destroy the evil powers? Have you brought peace to our domain? Yes. So fortunate to have found so brave a knight, so able. Whose spirit was trapped in the tree? That of one who once cheated death. But she couldn't deceive you, brave knight. You've rid the world of a great evil. You looked different in the tapestry. We're all dressed up just for you. If you only knew how much time we spent in front of the glass. Do you desire us? I'm impressed. Polymorphism, a rare talent. Oh, I'd suck every last drop out of you. Ah, to be woven together with you? I'd be your best, and last. Mm, not what I came for. Our deal. I did my part, now you do yours. A word once given we never break. The girl. Mousy blonde. That's what they call it. Terrified, exhausted, she could barely stun the poor thing. We cared for her as best we could. Like she was our own daughter. Wasted affection. 
she proved a very naughty girl. Mischievous, stubborn, and selfish. The young woman I seek never hurt anyone without cause. You've not seen her long. She's changed for the worse. Why'd she attack you? She's no longer the girl you once knew. Wrath consumes her. Don't believe you. They say you always keep your word. So tell me everything, exactly as it happened. We shall tell you, brave boy. We knew someone's supposed to run. We let beast in flames for the omens. We would glimpse her likeness, a mirage in a puddle. She came from the lower swamp. We knew not at first it was her the Omens had spoken of. A child of the Elder Blood. The soul seed that would burst into flame. She fell into our hands. The blood. Mm, the blood of the traitress. The table set, the cauldron bubbles. We cannot! You know she is meant for him! Imurith will get her. He will, but not whole. <laughs> well said. We'll just have a sample. I'll take her feet. Lovely. And plump. Perfect for a broth. Oh, I can taste it already. Very well. Get on with it! Oh, you'll regret that girl. Regret it dearly.
tried to kill her. Tried to butcher her like an animal and eat her. Her blood. The taste brought back memories of our youth. Elder blood. Extraordinary girl. But you know that. Such a shame she fled. You tried to kill her. Can't forgive you for that. Waste of words. Our fates are bound true. But now is not the time for that to bear fruit. Now you shall chase shadows and wander midst fog. Each time you see her, she will be a mirage. And if you find her, if the girl will <laughs> die, she will see you, handsome knight. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so.